armoured car, troops move into position outside the Radisson Hotel. Inside are 140 guests, 30 staff and an unknown number of heavily armed gunmen who blasted their way in using grenades. A man who was in the gym when the jihadists arrived had a lucky escape. I left from the gym and I tried to go in the lobby from the back door. I opened the door a little bit and I saw on the floor bullets. I walked out where it was full of uh, police and special forces and they take me to a safe place and they walked me home. When I get home, I, I heard some gunshots. In the street, a woman flees to safety. Some reports suggested the gunman initially released those who could recite the Quran. But as the security forces operation continues, more hostages manage to escape. The hotel's in the middle of Bamako's business district. As well as the Chinese tourists, there were Indian guests and French and Turkish air crews. There were security guards in place, but a local journalist, Mamadou Diara, says the gunman arrived in an SUV with diplomatic plates. They were inside a diplomatic uh, car, but the last of the plate is, is a diplomatic car. Um, that's why they didn't check them out. And if you have a diplomatic car, it looks like Little is known about the gunmen, though one report said they were heard speaking English. Those people, to answer your question, who say that they are fighting for freedom are liars. In fact, they are murderers. And uh, they want to kill everybody who doesn't share their domination and ideology. Ambulances have been bringing the injured to this local hospital. At least one person has required surgery here. Five others are also being treated. The overall level of casualties, though, is still not clear. The battle is continuing. Malian and French special forces are said to be working through the hotel floor by floor. Richard Lister, BBC News. Well, United.